Lainey here from Girl Teach Me, and today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. I thought I would share with you what I have learned doing YouTube for the last three, I think almost four months, really trying to be consistent, put out one video a week, and I want to share all the things I've learned, the good and the bad, and I thought it would be fun to do a recap every three months to kind of give you a realistic picture of what it kind of looks like at this point to help you be encouraged to keep going if that's something you still wanna do after a couple of months, or or to give you the courage to get started if it's something you've thought about for a really long time. If you're new to my channel, what I'm normally making content about is one, new motherhood, two, real food, and three, creating a peaceful home for the people that you love. But if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're kind of interested in starting a blog or YouTube, so I hope you'll stick around for content like that as well because I will be sharing my journey. So the first thing I want to say is that something will always go wrong. Something will probably go wrong with this video. Every single time I have sat down to shoot a video, something has gone wrong. Something has gone wrong when I try to shoot manual on my camera, something has gone wrong with my lighting, something has gone wrong with my sound. I've got box lights right here. Um, I've had a shadow down my face when I got lazy and just used one box light. I had the settings wrong on my camera and I had a flicker with the wattage. And it can be kind of discouraging. It can be discouraging when I work really hard to get my kids down for a nap. I've written the content that I want to share. I've gotten everything set up and something goes wrong. So I'm here to tell you that you're just going to have to persevere. And I'm telling myself, Lana, you're just going to have to persevere. But I think there is a difference in mindset that you have to have because every time something goes wrong, you get to learn something new. And that sounds really like cliche, but it's so true. Like you literally cannot learn how to do all of this video stuff from a course alone. Yes, I have taken a course and I'm gonna tell you about that because I think it's a wonderful course and I learned so much, but there is no teacher-like experience. I'm going to encourage you that if you've thought about a YouTube channel for a very long time, stop thinking about it, and just shoot. So the second thing I would say is even if the content is not perfect, still put it out. I think the habit of just being consistent and just putting stuff out in the world, just hitting publish, I think that that is more of a confidence builder than putting out perfect content. And I've actually gained a ton of confidence by just putting out a weekly video. It has to start somewhere. And even though you're going to try your very best, you're not gonna hit the mark. And um, a perfect example of that that may not make sense to you if you're not sports related, but like, I, you, I played softball my whole life and my coach used to tell me, Lana, hit the person in the chest with the ball. So what that meant was I'm throwing um, catch with another player and they're holding up their glove and I'm trying to throw the ball to their glove. And listen, I would throw it over their head, I'd throw it at their shins, Meanwhile, I'm trying my very best. Like, it's not because I'm horsing around that I cannot throw the ball where I want to. I'm literally trying my very best to hit them in the chest and it's not working. <laughs> um, I think that when we set out to do something new and we don't know what we're doing, we are going to try to hit that person in the chest and sail the ball way over their head. And that's okay, because if I stopped right there in my softball career, I would have thought I was a terrible softball player. But I kept practicing and kept practicing, and I went on to play college softball, and not only that, but to set a strikeout record at the college that I went to that has been passed by, by now, so I'm no longer a record holder, side note. But my point being that if you stopped right after posting one or two videos and that you didn't get very many views on, you would think, yeah, I tried YouTube and I suck. Or yeah, I tried YouTube, but I never got any views. And I think that if I stopped YouTube right now, that's what I would think for the rest of my life too. But I am gonna go with the theory that if I keep practicing, if I keep trying, if I keep putting out weekly videos, that I am gonna get better, that I am gonna get more comfortable behind the camera. I'm gonna get better at setting up my settings, getting the lighting right, getting the audio right, editing. I'm gonna get better at thumbnails, choosing topics, things like that. So stick with me. 
I'm gonna tell you some extra fun things I've learned at the very end, but first, um, my third thing is, I think some getting some good education on board is really helpful, it truly is. I did make the jump and buy some education for YouTube and for my blog, and I can tell you that this course is legit. I think that Lisa, who created this course, did an incredible job, and I feel like she explained every little detail that feels really mysterious about YouTube, even down to how to create thumbnails, how to edit, how to come up with content. I think it was money well spent, and I will leave a link down below for that course because I am just really thankful to Lisa for creating it. I bought the bundle of them together, and it's been an awesome resource. I still go back and watch lots of those videos and a lot of it makes even more sense to me now that I've been doing it for a little bit of time. So if you feel really lost and you think this is something you want to do, I highly recommend her course. Okay, so some fun things that I have learned to do that I will actually show you right now how to use a green screen and then make text with Canva and you can actually even animate the text from Canva. I haven't actually figured out how to make it super clear and sharp. I'm still working on that piece of the puzzle. That's been something that's been really fun to do. And if you are still here watching this video, I think the funnest thing that I have heard that was slightly discouraging but actually encouraging is that your first 100 videos will kind of stink. And I heard this one YouTuber say, make 100 videos and don't complain because they're gonna be terrible and don't expect much for the first 100 videos. So if I don't count journaling through John, I think I'm 16 videos in. So that means I've got 84 left. So if you um, are here watching this video and I have over 100 videos at this point, well, I just kept going. But at this point, I have 16 videos, 100 subscribers and I plan to just keep on going. So let me know in the comments if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Let me know um, if any of this is interesting to you and you think maybe this is a journey you wanna start but you just don't know how, I would love to talk with you. So thanks for being here, thanks for watching this video. I hope it is super helpful for you and I'll see you again in the next video.